All right, guys, let's talk about how HDR works on the XG3220 right here. Now, first step, this took me forever to figure out, and it was really a simple step, but if you are using display port on your graphics card, does not support HDR on this monitor. This monitor will not support HDR through display port. You have to use one of the HDMI ports. I still couldn't verify if that's an all the time thing, like every monitor that's just the case, or if that's just specific to this brand. But no, if you get an XG3220, you've got to use HDMI if you want to use HDR. Now, that said, now we need to work on it on a Windows level. So first off, if we pull up Strange Brigade here and launch it real quick, we can go to these options and you can see here we can output HDR. Here's the problem though, if we aren't using HDR in Windows 10, what I have noticed is if I say OK and launch this guy, it's kind of washed out, the colors are. I don't know why that is. I, you wouldn't think it should make any difference. But what I've seen is these colors will look washed out. Now, I get through this loading time. Sorry guys, still don't have that good old NVMe drive where I can just make BAM load we're done I wish I wish I did so yeah you guys might have a little hard time seeing a huge difference but we'll just come to this title screen and I'll try to show you what I'm talking about here now to me though I can tell these play buttons and stuff they're just a little bit washed out compared to when I have a different setting set so it's a little bit of a disappointment on that level so here's here's what we got to do now you've got to enable hdr in the windows environment but it's really simple once you have an hdr compatible display you go to display you just right click anywhere on the desktop and you can go to this display settings bam and you're going to see it right here if you have an hdr display you just turn that baby on but watch what's going to happen we're going to keep these changes now, you guys, it's, I'm looking at the camera while I'm talking about this so you can kind of um, pick up what's going down here. So you guys are going to see this, and it's going to look kind of good. Like, you're going to see a little bit of color here and things. But as me sitting here looking at it in person, this whole screen is washed out. The gamma is super, way too high. And so here's the problem, though. If you go to these HDR and WCG settings, they have brightness for SDR content. This desktop is SDR content. It doesn't come out right on HDR. So my camera's picking it up nicely, but it doesn't look right to me. So I can adjust this, but it all it does is adjust the brightness, and it doesn't really change much. You really have to adjust it on a gamma level, and you'd have to go into monitor settings, but even then it starts making it look too dark. It just doesn't look right, guys, and that's the thing. Windows 10 isn't supporting this very well. So, that's one of the bummers I noticed. But, for the sake, even though the Windows 10 environment may not look as good as it should, now, if I enable that setting first and launch Strange Brigade, we'll get through our loading time here because, you know, loading times are just a thing that must happen. Hey, at least I've got the solid state drive that helps a little bit better than, you know, traditional spinning hard disk, but really, really need that NVMe drive. Now, wow, these colors start popping instantly. They look so much sharper. The Rebellion didn't look washed out. The orange looks more like an actual orange instead of a little bit uh, washed out. So this is a brightish orange yellowish color. And so it, it still doesn't stand out super huge, but when I look at these orange buttons down here, they look right now. They don't look washed out anymore. They look like a nice deep color. So my recommendation is, is yes, make sure you enable HDR in the Windows environment and then make sure you output HDR in the game if you want to take full advantage of it and it look right. HDR, unfortunately, here's the thing, guys. I love HDR, I think it looks great, but this is not easy to get. You gotta tweak a lot of settings to get it just right. That's the bummer about HDR. Is it totally worth it? Not entirely. HDR is great 
And if I had all the time in the world and nothing else to do, sure. But unfortunately, I feel like we need to see a little better Windows level support on the desktop and standard definition items before HDR is going to really be worth it. Uh, but hey, if you guys don't mind a little bit of hassle, then you're going to love it. All right, guys, there we go. That's talking about taking in the, you know, getting taking advantage of the full HDR experience from Windows settings and game settings. I hope that helps out. Catch you later.